Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and I gotta do another check or two here. Okay. Alright, so once again, um, time for another cast. And um, this time around, this is gonna be another one from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. It's a dark ambient music. This is called Iced Eon. So, I'm gonna rewind this back. Um, well, okay, to start with, um, one good thing that happened yesterday morning. I actually remember to, uh, I, I had, for the longest time, I had totally forgotten I had this, uh, I had some NyQuil. I mean, the stuff's a freaking miracle worker. And I have to, whoop, whoop, gotta do a sound check here. Here a little bit now, but yeah, it. I totally, I forgot, forgot I had this in my um, in my in my drawer. So, and I was having problems with you know, fatigue, chills. I also had a low grade fever as well. So, took a little sip of this stuff before laying down, and bam, it's like a few minutes. I lay down a few minutes later. Beep 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 beep. The alarm went off. So basically, I slept a full eight hours. Full and uninterrupted. Um, it just woke up, woke up in a good mood. Just, I mean, all you know, all kinds of energetic and all that, and yeah. So, so I ended up, uh, so I had a pretty, and had a pretty good stream yesterday. Did some gems of war. Um, okay, one other thing I gotta add. Totally forgot about this. Poor planning here on my part. Um, okay, but anyway, um, so I even did a I even did a pinball session shortly after I did a did not uh, my jump did a jump to war session. So, like I said, it wasn't. I wasn't like falling asleep or anything like that during the stream, so figured might as well get one going. Then I did that for a while, and uh, some of my viewers were uh, requesting tables and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm always I'm always cool with it, most of the time anyway. Well, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. Um, but yeah, like, but like I said, uh, NyQuil was a miracle worker. So, but I don't, I seldom drink it, so I almost always forget I have it. I mean, for one, I very, very rarely get sick. So, again, because of that, I, oftentimes I forget that it, I forget that I even have it. And, uh, for the rare times that I do get, like, a, like a stuffy nose or, you know, like, you know, any kind of, any kind of illness, it goes away in about a day anyway. So, but I think what I might end up doing is um, I might end up taking a I might end up taking a sip of this stuff more often. I mean, I'm a teetotaler, so you know, and and as you as you as you probably know, Nyquil has alcohol in it. So, and uh, it's it's also because of, it's also I think it's also because of that. Um, I don't need to drink very much of it. Like I said, just a sip of it will work. A little dabble, do you? So, but yeah, probably at least for a while. I mean, I'm not, I'm not completely over my illness. Um, I still have a bit of a, uh, I'm, I still have a bit of a frog in my throat. So, uh, but otherwise, for the. Uh, but the memo session actually went pretty good. Like I said, uh, people are requesting tables and stuff. In fact, now that I think about it, 
me go ahead and pull up the game real quick. Hopefully it won't jam things up too bad. Yeah, I gotta gotta wait a minute or two for this to pull up. This is probably gonna be one of those situations where it's gonna be e it's gonna be easier for me to show you than just straight up tell you. Almost, almost. Yeah, let me do this instead. Yeah, sorry for the poor preparation, but this is just something I, just, it's something I decided to go ahead and do totally on a whim here. Like I said, it's going to be easier for me to show you than, than to actually just straight up talk to you about it. Okay, so, but um, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be a it's gonna be another week where the way it's looking, I'm probably gonna drop down a league. Um, let me let me check one more thing, and it's one thing I don't like about this game is uh when you leave the window or when you leave the when you leave the game, the sound stops. Like you can't it doesn't doesn't carry over from uh whatever window you're on. Okay, so you guys should be able to see my cursor. But yeah, like I said, um, the four tables that I got this week, they're more doable than the ones I got last week. But again, I'm... It's like... War never changes. I, I guess I could probably show you a little sample here. But the goal of these tables is, again, you're not... You're not trying to beat a high score... You know, so upper right corner, you have three minutes. They have three minutes to get a score of, in this case here, 14 million. Keep the nukes. That's all for now. The railroad requires my attention. So, Nuka Cola. I straight down the middle. Straight down the middle again. you then but uh, as you can see here the idea is you're trying to beat you're trying to beat that high score in the upper left corner which I ain't doing let's hurry this up I'm in a mode right now. What am I yeah, so go ahead and give up. And as you can see here, I'm in the red right now. I basically I have to win at least one game in order for me to at least be in the blue. If you do really good and keep beating high scores, you'll end up here in the green. Which, which will advance you to the next week. So, but again, 
Um, tables look more doable this time around. But it's just, I gotta make my shots. And War never changes. To say nothing of the fact that uh, the target scores that I'm seeing here. Now, you can go at, you can go after the green one, yellow or red. Now, you can go for the green one, but again, I, I typically um, I'm basically feast or famine when it comes to this. I mean, I've oh, how can I explain it? I mean, I can't even I can't even beat 10 million. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I can't even get a beat a score of 10 million. So you may just as well go for the go for the red over here, 15. That's that's how I view it. So, but like I said, each table Epic quest. has a target score. You know, you you pick three, and these are actual opponents, so they're not just scores generated at random or anything. But again, I can't I can't even get a damn score of six million, let alone nine million. So you, I may just as well go for the hard one over here. So, and and then they have a oh shoot. Yeah, I still got to create a tournament in here. I'll go ahead and do that real quick while I'm here. Um, five minute mode, only three. Uh, let me pick. Come on, Joe. I'll just pick World War Hulk. I'll create it, but. Yeah, I'll just create the tournament. But anyway, we've got a wide variety of different modes. Um, also, a uh, wide variety of different scores you have to beat. So, so, like I said, I just wanted to do that real quick. Yeah, I forgot to I forgot to kill the music while I was doing that. So, I'll rewind it back a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> Dennis Leary, Dennis Leary calls Nyquil, or at least, at least the one that I, at least the one that I'm drinking, the original Green Death fucking flavor. <laughs> was like, like Nyquil, 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 and my and fucking Q, or something like that. It's been a long time since I, since I've listened to it. So, but anyway, um. I also uh, finished up watching Siphon Filter, or Siphon Filter 2. Again, like I said yesterday, this is one of my all-time favorite franchises. Probably second only to uh, Legacy of Kane. But even, you know, but um, even then, it's not perfect. Like I said yesterday, they, the original voice actress for, uh, for Leon Zing, the uh, other main character in that game, she wasn't available for some reason or another, and they they brought in another girl who sounded kind of bimboy. You know, sounded a bit like a bimbo. Just oh my god, Gabe! I've been infected with like the, like with like the vari with like the virus. Oh. <coughs> um, I, I'm like I like taking an adrenaline shot, and you know, it's like keeping me up right now. You know, they it just oh, like like the the voice actress they hired was like like in her teens or 20s or something it's like the girl they hired on the uh on the first one i think she was, it sounded like she was in her 30s you know sounded more mature um and then they brought in uh they brought in another girl which i i don't have the visuals on it but it, she kind of reminded me a bit of sandy from uh Spon of spongebob fame so but l l like i said it just but yeah it basically it it was a voice acting debacle they made uh, they made the main main character Gabe. They like they had him shout more and stuff, and it's just really cringy. So, but as far as uh, if, whether or not I'm gonna watch uh, the third one, I don't know. So, and like I said, it was I was pretty much trudging my way through the second one here. So, as far as the third one, I don't know. For all I know, they probably had a. They had a totally different voice actor for Gabe on the third one. Leon, give me the, I need the coordinates to where the, where the airplane crash landed, you know, or someone who sounds nothing like the original. You know, I mean, you might as well just have Jar Jar on it at that point, like, 
Mr. Gus, I rushed you to Ah, Mr. D, Mr. D, the security protocol, the contingency. You know, it is no. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> okay, but. And also, um, I played some Killer Instinct. Um, not for very long. I. Um, I played, uh, probably for a total of about a half an hour. It just, I'm. I'm really beginning to lose interest in that game, but I, it's, 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 it's not the game dev's fault for this, it's my own. Um, well, I, well, I guess since I have a, since I did it with pinball already here, let me go ahead and do it with this game. I'll go ahead and fire it up. Again, this is probably going to be one of those where it's just going to be easier for me to show you than, than just tell you. Alright, this is going to take a little bit, um, I do have to do some, uh, screen res finagling here. Yeah, this is probably going to jack up my file size, too. Alright, um, uh, let's go here. But again, I got, um... So, what I had to do is I had to drop the resolution down to where it doesn't completely fill up my screen. And then I got to... But see, the problem I got with my, my mouse pointer, it will not enter the window. So, I'm, I'm practically having to pick a lock here because I'm trying to hit the, uh, the full screen icon in the upper right corner. Which sets the uh, screen size exactly how I want it. There it goes. Almost. Alright, got it. So that's that's one issue. It just it's a little bit it's a little bit of work that I have to do to get the screen to fit my or to get the game to fit my screen, excuse me. So Um, I'm on Well here's one problem I got. Let me go over here. Okay, so, the first place I go is Master. This is where you go to the dojo, is the tutorial. Now, the problem I have with this is the fact that the only reason why I want to play this game is because of her. Like I said, she's the only reason why I got this game. So, I I want to play... I want to main her. I want to play her exclusively. But the problem I got... Is for the tutorial... I'm poor... I'm forced to use Jago. Now, Jago is a character that I do not want to play. You know, so like, like I said, I don't, again, I, I don't want to play Jago. I mean, I don't care if he's the Ryu of the game. I mean, when I, when I tried playing, um, uh, Street Fighter Third Strike, Street Fighter 2, I went right for the grapplers, which is also another drawback to this game. Um, I think I said this probably during the, one of my, uh, gameplay sessions that I recorded and uploaded. Um, there's, there's no, there's no real archetype in this, um, other than Rushdown. Just like Dragon Ball Fighters, every character in here is, unless I'm wrong, is, uh, they're all Rushdown Fighters. They're, they're rush, they're, they gotta rush in, they gotta get, they gotta get that big, huge combo going. You know, and they have, and they have combo breakers in here. You know, I mean, there's, you know, there's a little bit of, uh, mind games, for lack of a better word, 
But otherwise, but other than that, it's all just rush down combo fighting. You know, whereas, you know, there's grappling, as far as I know, doesn't exist. You know, the goal being to get in close to your opponent, pick him up and throw him. You know, that's the goal of a grappler. Get in close, throw him. Um, there is also no, there's no actual zoning in this game. There's no range fighting. Yes, you fire projectiles, but there's no, but he, I think all of them have some kind of projectile attack. You know, but there's nothing, to my knowledge, there's no dalsum in this game. You know, there's no, you know, there's no, there's no guile. You know, you know, but you kind of get the idea, though. So, and there's even, um, there's even a mode I tried out called, uh, Shadow Lords. Um, where, uh, it's, it's kind of like a single-player quest mode. You know, you, you fight battles, you win battles, you, you get loot, and, you know, you get, you get various upgrades and whatnot, but... But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of it. But like like I said, I'm still going to keep playing the game, though. You know, I'm still going to keep playing it. Um, Probably not as much. Oh, let me, uh, let me get my music on here. And it just occurred to me, too. Big mistake on my part. Um... Yeah, I got a feeling this uh, video might be copyright claimed. Not because of the music you're hearing now, but uh, um, one of the pinball tables I picked, uh, Fallout, it might have had copyrighted music in there. I don't know. But like I said, I was going totally and completely on a whim. So this wasn't planned out. I just thought it'd be easier to just show you how Pinball FX3, or how the uh, matchups in uh, the Matchup League and Pinball FX3 worked. You know, and I'm... I don't think the um, the in-game music and in Killer Instinct it shouldn't be a problem. I, like I like I said, I did do like a, a 30, 45 minute video. I think I had the um, in-game music in there and it didn't get claimed at all, so I should be okay. So, but but like I said, um, I'm you know I'm still gonna I'm still gonna play it from time to time, and um. If it does, if it does come to it, I might end up having to uninstall it though too. Though I mean, this game does take up about 50 gigabytes of a hard drive space. So, so like I said, if if if, if it comes to it, I might end up having to uninstall it. Like, like if I maybe maybe if I, if I wanted to try another another fighting game then I'd probably have to uninstall this one and replace it with that one. So. Oh, and uh, one more thing, and... Let me try this real quick. Should still have it. Yeah, this is just some poor preparation all around. Oh, don't tell me I got there. It is. <laughs> okay, but anyway, um, I tried playing Final Fantasy fourteen again. Um, after I checked out the forums yesterday. And they said that um, the sound problem is still ongoing. I went ahead and tried it this morning to see for my, or I should say to hear for myself. Yep, it's still stuttering. So, so who knows when it um, who knows when they'll fix it. So, but I'll I'll still keep trying from time to time though. 
but anyway, um, um, I'm, uh, I guess since, um, uh, I'm at a good stopping point right now, um, I'll just go ahead and, um, uh, shut it down here, um, and there was something else I was wanting to say, but I totally, completely forgot. Oh, well, um, anyway, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Um, but thanks for, uh, <laughs> thanks for, uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, this will be my last cast for the week. So my work week starts up. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be working. And, uh, you probably won't be hearing from me until Sunday morning. So until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. And bye for now, and hopefully when I'm better prepared. Anyway.